Hi, Justin Vakula here, YouTuber, blogger, podcaster, atheist activist. So I have a little bit of a problem on the internet. A few hours ago, I was alerted to a feminist on Facebook who had linked my personal address, the names of my parents, and says that she's going to be sending letters to my parents, family members, and people throughout the local community warning about how I'm a dangerous person. Now, it's interesting. I've been critical of certain feminist bloggers in the last three months, mainly as a result of attacks against certain males in the atheist community, and even women who they dismiss as gender traitors or chill girls. And I'm really sick of a lot of the infighting that has been going on. It's really depressing that the community is being torn in half as people are trying to hijack atheism under the banner of feminism and go about demonizing men. Now, as far as feminism is concerned, at the barest level, it's the idea that women and men are equal or should be treated equally. But unfortunately, a lot of that doesn't seem to be going on throughout the community. Anyway, I received some correspondence that a person has, as I said, leaked my personal information. And this is going much beyond criticism on the internet and disagreement of ideas. And you'll see this later on in the video as I read the, e the messages from this person. It isn't only putting my address online for people to have, but she's telling people to send messages to me. She's threatening to send letters to my parents, family members, and institutions across Pennsylvania to ruin my career. She explicitly states this. These tactics are completely reprehensible, and it's a shame if anyone wants to defend this sort of behavior. It's going beyond any disagreement. She's casting me as some sort of predator, and this is even bordering on criminal behavior. Rather than disagreeing and dealing with ideas, she's resorting to different tactics. So recently, I've been critical of a particular feminist blogger, Surly Amy. I've disagreed with her ideas, and I unfortunately made a mistake. I had published her address in a forum, and after doing that, I had the address removed, and I put up a clarification saying, hey, what I did wasn't malicious, and there was no intention of that whatsoever. The address was public information, and I posted it to dispel a conspiracy theory that was brought aboard brought aboard by a Freethought Blogs commenter who claimed that I was trying to get her personal information to do damage to her and ruin her business and everything like that. It's completely false. So this person on Facebook, I'll call her S, she had the following to offer. You know that sexist pig, Justin Vakula, who published the feminist skeptic blogger's home address because he had lost his argument with her. Feedback can be sent to him at his home address. So she provides the address. Now, she's complaining that I published the address of Surly Amy, but now, apparently, it's totally okay for her to publish the address to exact revenge, as it seems. So she continues. I found his address by searching phone books around where he went to college. I wrote to his parents, so she mentions my parents' names, a letter about how nasty their son was to publish a woman's address to intimidate her. I am in the process of sending every institution in PA a letter about him and how they should never have him speak or write for them. So here she makes her intentions pretty explicit. She's releasing my address, and she says she's going to be sending letters to inst every institution in Pennsylvania about how I shouldn't speak or write for them, directly interfering with my speaking and with my career, with my education. I'm a graduate student, and this can possibly have some harm here. She's explicitly stating that that's her intention, not only posting an address, but rather going beyond that and saying she's doing things with the address, encouraging people to write to me and getting family members involved. So she continues. Justin Vakula published her non-published address in his blog because he couldn't keep up in an argument with her. Well, that's false. The address was posted in a forum and it had nothing to do with keeping up with an argument. So she claims that Surly Amy had to move, I don't know, the jury's out on that. Anyway, 
she continues. He is now picking on a few other women who belong to the group Secular Women, and they feel threatened. Well, that's interesting. I'm not picking on members of the group Secular Women. I'm actually supportive of their mission. So she goes on. His address is published in the phone book, and I found it on the web. Hers was unlisted, and he got it through professional contacts, which is a total misuse of power. Well, first of all, my address isn't in the phone book. The address that's in the phone book is the address of my parents. Not me. I, I'm not listed, as far as I know at least. And I didn't get Surly Amy's address through, as she says, professional contacts. I used Google. It's affixed to a trademark she has, by the way. So, she goes on writing. I'm very sure of the laws about this, since I spent my career at a newspaper, and what he did, and continues to do, more than deserves this response. It would be obscene not to publish it. Please write to him and express your outrage. The letter I wrote to his parents was very nice, but his family also has the right to know what awful jeopardy he could have put him in by doing this. He insinuated his local readers should visit a woman who dared call him on his sexism. I am outright asking international readers to drop him a line. Anyone in a city area only need look in the white pages. So, here she misrepresents. I'm in Pennsylvania. Surly Amy is on the other coast, the west coast. My local readers are on the east coast. So what, what is this about going to visit her? How, how are my local readers going in Pennsylvania going to visit the other coast? Uh, I, never, I never posted anything. I never encouraged people to visit Surly Amy. It's just total nonsense. She, she's casting me as this, this predator, this bad person who wants to do harm to people, and I'm encouraging people to do harm while she's doing that herself. And I never said that anyone should do harm to people. I have my agreements online. I don't take them, uh, I don't take them into real life. It just doesn't happen. I, I made a mistake with the address. I, I clarified that, and I'm noting again in this video that that's what it was. It's not just because mine was published. I, I, I made this clarification days before this, weeks before this, actually. So don't be cynical here. So she goes on. I've talked to newspapers in Pennsylvania. There will be articles about him regarding this in relation to his speaking tour there at area churches and parochial schools. He can't be trusted with professional contacts, so I'm afraid he might just find himself wanting a profession. I'm just the one who gave you the scoop. So here she's admitting that she wants to interfere with my career, with my speaking, with what I'm doing. I, I can't be trusted with professional contacts, she says. And she says, I'm afraid he might just find himself wanting a profession. So she, she's very much interfering with my career here. That's, that's what she's stating. It's, it's pretty obvious. So when I had seen this, I was deliberating. What, what should I do? How should I address this? So what I thought of doing was doing another Facebook profile, a, a dupe account. So I made a dupe account, and I put my name up as J. Al Ucav and used my profile picture. And I'm not trying to hide my identity at all. I wanted to have a conversation with this person. So I subscribed to her and looked at her timeline to see what she was saying, get screenshots of this. And she sent me a message. She says, you can't think of a better way to scramble your name or try using a new picture. I have prospopagnosia and can still recognize it. I just published your second identity and have reported it to Facebook as well. Watch your local newspapers. I worked at one of the largest newspapers for over 16 years. I know everyone. There will be lots of you-can't-trust-this-guy-with-confidential-professional-context news articles coming out. So, you might soon be wanting a profession. I've also sent letters to every school and church in your area, telling them you cannot be trusted to keep any private information about their female staff and students. So apparently, uh, I'm dangerous to women. She, she's paying this narrative. Uh, I don't know where she's really getting this from. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. She's trying to get into my personal life to interfere with my personal life. It's very explicit here, and much more than just posting an address. She continues, I also wrote to, she mentions my parents' name, because your family has the right to know what jeopardy such behavior could have put them in, if I was a crazy motherfucker or has as little scruples as you do. So that's interesting. Again, she's involving my family into this issue. Whatever that has to do with it, I have no idea. So she has a disagreement with me online, and she takes it into real life. She posts my address. She encourages people to send me letters. She claims to be writing these letters to my family members, my parents, and institutions across Pennsylvania directly interfering with my life. What is that all about? 